Okay. Because it's, it's, it's different. Okay, fun. Yeah, we can different do that. Different tie. I don't know. We do good duets. Okay, 21, so Jared, do you like, we, have a, we have another performance mic. Do we? We have two performance mics? We do. Excellent. <clears throat> As requested by Sam, this is Paul uh, singing Mariner's Revenge. Maybe we shouldn't be wrapped around the leg of the table. One sec. Mm, that's, that is a plan. I like the way you think, Paul. Here, I got the table. Whoa! Whoa, yeah, just unwrap it. It's good. It could not be unwrapped. Okay, we're good. Alright, yeah, so... I don't know what the mic levels are like, but... Check, it's good. check. I guess we have a compressor now, so... There's no snare we can in my headphone at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, can I get some snare and also some headphones? Headphones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then play a snare right beside them. Alright. Chad says mic level okay. I like it. Alright, here we go. We are two mariners, our ship's sole survivors, in this belly of a whale. Its ribs are ceiling beams, its guts are carpeting. I guess we've got some time to kill. You may not remember me. I was a child of three, and you a lad of eighteen. But I remember you, and I will relate to you how our histories interweave. At the time you were a rake and a roused about, spending all your money on the whores and hounds. Whoa. You had a charming air, all cheap and debonair, my widowed mother found so sweet. And so she took you in, her sheets still warm with him, now filled with filth and foul disease. As time went on, you proved a dead, ridden, drunken mess. Leaving my mother a poor, consumptive wretch. Whoa. And then you disappeared. Your gambling arrears. The only thing you left behind. And then the magistrate reclaimed our small estate. And my poor mother lost her mind. Then one day in spring my dear sweet mother died. But before she did I took her hand as she dying cried. Whoa. Find him, bind him, tie him to a pole and break his fingers to splinters, drag him to a hole until he wakes up naked, crawling at the ceiling of his grave. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a forgiving mother. It took me eight nine. It took me eighteen, nineteen, fifteen. Fuck. It took me fifteen years to swallow all my fears among the urchins in the street, until a priory took pity and hired me to keep their vestry nice and neat. But never once into in the employ of those holy men. Did my mind ever turn from thoughts of revenge? Whoa. One night I overheard the prior exchanging words with a penitent whaler from the sea. The captain of his ship, who matched you toe to tip, was known for wanton cruelty. The following day I put to sea with the privateer And in the whisper of the wind I could almost hear Whoa 
Find him, bind him, tie him to a pole and break his fingers to splinters. Drag him to a hole until he wakes up naked, clawing at the ceiling of his grave. There is one thing I must say to you as you sail across the sea. Always your mother will watch over you as you avenge this wicked deed. Uh, Mom's really intense. (laughs) And came that fateful night we had you in our sights. After twenty months at sea, your starboard flank a beam. I was getting my muskets clean when came a rumbling from beneath. The ocean shook, the sky grew black, and the captain quailed. As before us grew the angry jaws of a giant whale. Sounds of whale attacks. <laughs> Don't know how I survived. The crew was chewed alive. I must have slipped between his teeth. But oh, what providence, what divine intelligence. You should survive as well as me. It gives my heart great joy to see your eyes fill with fear. So lean in close, and I will whisper the last words you ever hear. Whoa. And then we dance. <laughs> Yay. Yay.